Hi friends, my name is Puneet Ballab, and today I am going to discuss about a very good piece of software that is AVI Dmux. AVI Dmux is a free, open source, non-linear video editing software. Basically, earlier linear video editing software was used widely, but adding, deleting, and rearranging the video was the major problem. so nowadays now non linear editing software is used to overcome the problem of adding deleting and rearranging the video and i use personally avi dmax software to create my video projects widely so let us start to know how we can use the avi dmax software first go to google and search for avi dmux and here you can see the avi dmux downloads now click this page will open as you can see the linux version windows version and macintosh versions are available but i will use windows version so i will download from here after downloading i will install avi dmux after installing the software now i will open this avi dmux software and to edit some project we have to open from file open and i will take this video and open now as you can see the video is opened in this software avi dmux now we will click on this play button now video is started you can stop by clicking this button and the most important is as you can see this a and b this a and b button is for cutting the video part like you want to cut a segment you don't want to use that that segment to be shown in your video then you have to use these two buttons a and b like from here like from here you'd want to cut the segment then you will have to press this a button then play the video again now again click on this stop button and click on the b button this b button now as you can see this blue rectangle part it means it will cut the frame from a to b just you have to press the delete button just hit the delete button and that segment will cut now that segment is removed now if you will play the video that part of the video has been gone likewise uh, you can add video to this uh, uh, likewise you can add the video to this software you have to go to this file menu and append when you will append now i will add this c c part of the video open yes now the my second part of the video is added to this so 
it is very easy to cut a segment or to append a segment to this video append means adding some another video another part of video so this is the very you can apply various filters also you can go to this video filters now you can see the various filters are available like adding border you can add border you can define here what you want on left side or right side or top so after defining here you will you can uh, add border here likewise you can add a logo just double click on the add logo and click on open and select any logo file and and uh, you can adjust the position of your logo x axis and y axis and your logo will be inserted right now i'm cancelling black border likewise crop this is very cool feature cropping a video you can define here this horizontal flip was on now we'll click on crop video you can define here now what you want to crop crop from left side suppose i am giving here 50 and right 50 top 60 bottom 60 so our video will look like this after cropping the video now i'm cancelling it likewise there is option for fade horizontal flip rotate and etc you can apply this filter by just double clicking this filters you can add filter and you can apply this filter this is preview button you can preview this filter uh, what the effect of the filter is so there's there's a lot of cool features uh, in terms of filtering your video after doing all this stuff uh, means deleting adding and rearranging you finally you have to save the video video output button just click on here and I used to uh, save my projects mpg4 format so just after selecting here go to file and save your project it will ask just give a file name what whatever and hit on save button now it will start to save your video and after saving this video you can upload it on youtube or you can uh, do whatever you want to do so thanks for watching this video and enjoy this good piece of software thank you once again have a great day